Today I responded to a swarm call and arrived within a couple hours of the swarm attempting to settle. I have dealt with numerous swarms over the years and the first 24 hours is pivotal on how a hive is going to act once they begin the process of settling. Meaning they've stopped sending out scouts and they're just trying to set up a new hive. When swarms settle and begin building a hive, they become pretty stubborn about leaving it. Now we have what I think is a swarm settling. And this is a, it's a better time than doing a cutout, but we're going to see what's in there. We have a tip to the side. I dropped it and we're getting them to march in because they're just settling. And most of them are coming down now and joining it. But we're going to keep dropping it until we, we get most of them. We at least want them in the air. So leaving that for any time will give any advantage. Here they are marching and I'm so grateful they called when they did because we have a new hive that was settling in this wheel and it was so much better that uh, I come and get them now because had they settled for a day or two they would not march into the box. All right now we still have a significant amount to come. So I'm going to keep shaking them, getting them on the ground, and having them march into the box. We're still looking for the queen. Another drop and they are marching. Shook a large clump of them onto the ground and I haven't seen the queen yet. I, I've looked away quite a few times, so she could have just marched in. We're going to keep doing some shakes, see what we can do, and uh, hope that we get her. Uh, it's a generous amount of bees. I, I would presume we got her, but you know, you never know. And one of the funny things about swarm queens is they are a little bit smaller because they starve the queen for a few days. Uh, so she is a little smaller and she flies better. So I could be missing her for in part that reason. And she could be in the air too. Like we, we have quite a few in the air. So I'm done making excuses. <laughs> uh, let, let's hope we find her. But right now they're, they're just pouring in. Pardon the lighting for this because it's not too good. But I moved the wheel back after giving it a good shake of all the bees. And right now they're marching in. We, we got plenty in the air, which I'd, I'd like less of them in the air because I don't know the origin of this hive and I want to take as many with me as possible. Uh, leaving here, this here at night because they close just isn't an option. So I'm gonna have to take them with me this afternoon. It's my hope that some of these guys move on to somewhere else and they're not too far from the origin hive, but we're gonna do our best to get as many as possible. And I'm gonna wait uh, another 10, 15 minutes to figure that out. I loaded them up, moved them to my bee yard, and then put a feeder on the box. They have half drawn frames and half undrawn currently. The nectar flow is about to begin and I want to coax them into drawing out their brood chamber in preparation. I'm going to set up these two early swarms that I've caught in the past couple days with mostly drawn boxes. That way they have the potential to be honey producers this season with their generous populations. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.